You have done a basic photo sort, but what if you want to take it to the next level? Well, let me help you out with my advanced photo organizing techniques. Are you a professional or a dedicated hobbyist aiming to streamline your collection and maximize productivity? Then this video is just what you need. And stay tuned because I've got a game changing pro tip at the end that will completely transform your photo organizing game. Keyword tagging. Let's kick things off with keyword tagging. This technique is invaluable for managing large photo collections. It involves adding descriptive keywords to each photo, making it easier to locate specific images later. For example, if you have a photo from a summer vacation, tag it with keywords like beach, sunset, family, vacation. You can use your photo management software like Adobe Bridge or even Apple Photos, or you can simply add tags and keywords to the information or properties of your photos in Finder and Explorer. My pro tip is to use a consistent keywording system. Create a list of standard tags for recurring themes or subjects in your collection. This not only ensures uniformity, but also makes searching and sorting faster. For example, if you regularly photo events, tags like birthday, wedding and holiday will help keep your collection organized and easily searchable. Also, how are you going to use names? First name, then surname, surname first, and then what about maiden names? Some planning before you go keyword crazy is always a good idea. Color coding. Next, you have the option of color coding. This method is fantastic for visual organization. By assigning color labels to your photos, you can categorize and prioritize them at a glance. For instance, in Adobe Lightroom, you can use color labels to denote different stages of your project. Red for urgent, yellow for in progress, green for completed. Additionally, consider creating a color coding system that aligns with your workflow. For example, use specific colors to highlight photos that need editing, images for social media posts, or shots that need to be exported. This visual approach helps you quickly navigate through large volumes of images and ensures you stay organized. Advanced metadata handling. Metadata is another powerful feature to leverage. Metadata includes details like the date the photo was taken, camera settings, and location. Using software like Adobe Lightroom or the EXIF tool, you can add and edit metadata to provide context and enhance the searchability. My top tip when it comes to all that lovely data is to develop a metadata template that includes relevant fields for your work. For instance, if you're a keen wildlife photographer, include shoot location time of day, and specific wildlife involved. This additional layer of information can make retrieving and managing your photos much more efficient. Creating a folder structure. Let's not forget about setting up a folder structure. Organizing your photos into a clear and logical hierarchy keeps your collection manageable. For instance, you might have main folders for holiday, work, and projects, with subfolders for specific events or dates. Consider structuring your folders by year and then by month or event. For example, under 2024, you might have subfolders saying 2024, 01, New Year's party, and then 2024, 02, winter vacation. This approach makes it easier to locate and keep your collection well organized. My pro tip to folder naming, I've kind of already given away, is to always put the year in numbers first and then the month so that your folders and your photos, if you use the folder name to name your photos, will always be sorted in the year then month order automatically as they will appear numerically, not alphabetically. Using photo management software. So you can use these advanced techniques in both Explorer and Finder, but to really be able to use these to find and sort your photos, you're gonna need some proper photo management software. Tools like Adobe Lightroom, Mylio, and Capture One are essential for taking your organization to the next level. These programs offer robust features for managing and editing your photos. You can create custom catalogs, use powerful search functions and apply batch processing to streamline your workflow. But they come at a price, as most things in life, 
are not free. However, there is one great option, Adobe Bridge. It can be a bit basic, but for free, well, with an Adobe account created, you can't go wrong. And if you want to up your game further, you can then choose to invest in a software at the right time. Maintenance and backup. Regular maintenance is key to keeping your photo collection in tip-top shape. Schedule periodic reviews to go through your photos, update tags and metadata, and remove duplicates or dud images. This ensures that your organizing system remains efficient and that you're always working with the most relevant and up-to-date collection. But also don't forget to include backing up and syncing in your organizing strategy. Ensure that your photos are backed up to both the cloud and an external hard drive. This dual approach protects your collection from data loss and provides easy access from multiple devices. Services like Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive offer reliable cloud backup solutions while external hard drives can serve as a secondary backup approach. My pro tip. And now for the game-changing pro tip, create smart collections. Smart collections automatically group your photos based on predefined criteria, such as keywords, metadata, or ratings. For instance, you could create a smart collection for top rated photos. That includes all images that you've rated with five stars. This dynamic organization saves you time and ensures you can quickly access your most important photos without a ton of manual sorting. So there you have it, your advanced photo organizing techniques. And don't forget to utilize smart collections for a streamlined approach to find all your photos super quick. But what if you want to know a bit more about Adobe Bridge, your free photo management option, then check out my other video here to get the lowdown. If you found this video helpful, then give it a little thumbs up and subscribe for more expert tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.